As human attention shifted away from the world and into the metaverse, society was beginning a digital revolution. Crypto consumed everything from currency to finance and was primed to devour the art world next. Few could foresee what lay ahead. One man wasn't going to let this opportunity slip through his fingers. Rising from the ranks of auction house busboy to world-renowned art critic and flipper, follow Beanie as he endures kidnappings, clowns, anons, and the mysterious Elvis Punksley on his quest for enigmatic relics of crypto art history. Watch the story unfold as Beanie and the 15 punks hunt for the lost Robbies. Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again spitting Mo Crypto Game. So, I've been talking about crypto punks a lot on my channel. And I'm one of the big, I'm the largest alt punks collector, alternative punks, NFT collector on the internet. Now we have the world's first NFT comic book based on crypto punks. It's called Punks, Hunt for the Lost Robbies. If you saw my other video, I'll leave the link in the top right hand corner. I talked about the Lost Robbies. They are AI generated new portraits, new portraits. 300, 300 of them were given away for free. Only 25 are left. And those 25 are worth multi millions of dollars. Okay? So, this is a legit comic book. Now, I own two of these. This is the first edition. There's only 10,000 and they're all sold out. I was able to get two of them. This is a legit comic book. You can only see it if you own the NFT. Okay? I'm only showing you a quick little preview, but this is for real. We already know how big comic books have changed and form and shaped our society and movies. So this is the first blockchain owned NFT based off CryptoPunks. Now I'm not going to show you the whole thing because this is only for the people that own the NFT. Okay? So there's a lot to go over. So CryptoPunks. They're one of the Ethereum's first NFT uh, generated NFT, algorithmically generated NFT. They got different traits and whatnot. Now they're going for multi millions of dollars. All right. And just recently, the most expensive one, they called it the COVID alien punk, sold for $11.8 million. Uh, this, so you got to understand, these things were printed in 2007. I mean, generated in 2007. So this happened to be a rare trait. And now it's got the COVID alien punk. So it's sold for 11.8 million. So it's big money, big, big money. And as you can see, I own it. It's on my OpenSea. I'm in the club. All right. Now, the creator of this is Beanie.eth. Okay. Go on Twitter and follow him. This dude is a senior art critic. Honestly, in my the way I put it, he's not the most popular a guy on in the NFT community. Believe me. He doesn't hold back his tongue. He's not trying to make friends. He expresses. Uh, his views and opinions uh, very brashly and and the way I put it he's like the Kanye West of the NFT art collecting and flipping community but this dude got the money got the knowledge to back up all the shit he talks so a lot of people fuck with him okay now he's the one that created so this is a different avatar but he's the creator of the beanie uh, crypto punk now let's go back to the top so he and a bunch of other artists and punk collectors and uh, NFT and smart contracts, they got together and they created this comic book series called Punks. It is top-notch, high-quality uh, artists, and, and, and it's based on the blockchain, so smart contracts and everything. I wanna try, I'm, try, I'm trying to make this as very you know, beginner-friendly as possible. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You can go check it out. There's only 10,000 available, okay, and they cost 0.2 ETH. All right. Um, the tokenomics behind it. So it's a real comic book. OK. And you can redeem it for the physical copy. When the physical copy, you're going to get a nice package uh, and you're going to get it serialized. OK. So that y you have the ownership even of the physical copy. OK. There's only a limited edition free shipping worldwide for anybody that owns it. And 27 random NFTs are going to be sent out to anybody who owns this comic book NFT, all right? 20, 27 random ones. Now, what can you do with this NFT, okay? 
there's three things you can do. You can just pretty much hold it. Or you can stake it. If you stake it, you get a percentage of the punk's token. The punk's token represents fractional ownership of 16 different crypto punks that are, that's in the comic book. So if you stake your token, you get punks. And then once you all the punks are distributed, you can take your, uh, your, your comic book NFT out. Okay? Or you can burn it. You can toss it. You can throw your comic book in the trash. If you burn it, you get fractional ownership of the vault. What is the vault? The vault is this basically museum of rare, really rare, valuable NFTs. So you get ownership of a museum kind of bank kind of vault uh, of, of, of the DAO, Founders Vault DAO. So in order to get fractional ownership of the, the DAO, you need to burn one of these comic book NFTs. So people like me decided to, you know, smart up, smart up, and we bought two or more. So with one, uh, with one of them, I'm going to stake it for more punks token. With one of them, I'm going to burn it so I have fractional ownership of the vault. All right? So I'm going to play the game both ways. And that's why I got two. Okay? The purchase of the Genesis Punks comic is the only way to participate in either of the opportunities above. No future editions will be staked for punks and provide access to the founder's vault. So no other edition besides the first one will give you these kind of opportunities. So it's much more than a comic book. It's much more than an NFT. There's different utility use cases to it. So what is in the vault? The vault, the first, one of the things is that all the teams sign this one. So that's a punk that all the teams sign. Then you have a Lost Robbie, an AI-generated newt that's worth multi-millions of dollars. And then you have the first edition. These are usually the most valuable ones in the whole collection of the first edition. So you got one sign, one first edition, a Lost Robbie, and you got different other valuable NFTs created by some of the top NFT artists. So, And then we can also vote on what we want to sell from the vault or what we want to add to the vault. You get literally like board of directors of a museum of NFTs. And then 25% of the total supply is going to be thrown in the vault as well. It's like a fat stack of cash on top of all of the paintings and sculptures in your museum. So that's why I decided to get two. So I, one, I can burn and get fractional ownership of the vault. One, I can stake it and earn uh, a bunch of different punks tokens uh, as well. So 16 different crypto punks tokens. So I'm going to leave all this down here for you guys. So 16 different punks got fractionalized to 100, uh, 100 million different punks and 50 half the supply is going to be distributed to the people that stake their comic book nfts i'm telling you man this is the highest level of uh blockchain technology ethereum so solidity development nft nft artists nft collecting like it's all packaged into one like product and i love it comic book nfts okay so i'm gonna leave this link down in the description for you guys to do your due diligence but this is where it's at and all 10,000 have been sold out, okay? And it's based on, so this is Beanie. It's based off the character, and behind the character, the real person is a, you know, multi-millionaire NFT art collector and flipper. And then each of these crypto punks, they made a comic book version of them. So, and that's, it's so cool, man. It's so cool to see where talent and collaboration and, you know, blockchain technology really combined. It's, it's, it's amazing, all right? So do your due diligence, check out the website, and yeah, punks are completely sold out to all the supporters of the project. Thank you. There was so much hype around this. I'm so glad I, I was fortunate enough to be in tune in the, in the deeper inner circles of these NFT communities and, you know, was able to invest in it. And now uh, they've already doubled their value, damn near tripled the value overnight. I bought the shit last night. The damn near is worth two or three times more just the next morning I wake up. So this shit's real. Now, uh, some quick math on the Punks comic at a 10K supply. There's only 2.4 uh, uh, thousand holders between Beanie and this guy. They only two th they own two over 2,000. They're probably going to take it off the market. They're not selling at least any. So if you do, if you read this, guys, you can see this may be one of the best investments like in the NFT community. Like I, I, I don't quote me on that, but damn, I. I, I, the feeling hit me. The feeling hit me when I first found about Bitcoin. The feeling hit me when I first found about Wi-Fi. You know, the feeling hit me. And this comic book, I, it hit me too, and I'm glad I got in. And so you got different all types of artists, different people. I'm learning. I'm getting deeper and deeper, different punk collectors, different ape collectors. I'm an alt punk collector. So I'm in the community. You know what I'm saying? 
And it, it just feels good because there may be more opportunity in this than DeFi. You know what I'm saying? This is combined with DeFi, and I, I'm heavy into DeFi. But this NFT community is moving fast. So ch check it out, man. The, uh, the Punk's first con uh, punks the first nft comic book on the blockchain you know and there's already sold out so you got to hit me up if you want to figure out if you could possibly get one of these uh editions i'll show you some places you can possibly pick them up for uh, hopefully you can afford it you know what i'm saying because these are going up in value fast holla at your boy crypto roots much love take it easy peace